And tonight we are taking a closer look at the coronavirus emergency south of the border. Hospitals so overwhelmed with patients that Tijuana doctors and nurses are pleading for help. News 8's Lamar Abrams has more on the growing concern. The border remains closed to all but essential travel, but tonight health officials in Tijuana warn the coronavirus measures simply won't work unless people south of the border start taking the pandemic seriously. We need help. A plea for help from a Tijuana doctor as coronavirus deaths in Baja California near 60 as of Wednesday, with more than a dozen of them healthcare professionals. Medical equipment, like protection, protections for the for the doctors, there is never enough. Dr. Ana Gloria Valenzuela says hospitals here are not equipped to handle a pandemic, nor is the community ready to accept the reality. It doesn't understand really what's the emerging disease. We are worried because uh, we can see on the streets there's a lot of people still going out, not respecting uh, the appropriate way of doing the social distancing. Dr. Victor we Garcia of the Tijuana Health Department says the situation is so out of hand. Our hospitals are full. Local hospitals simply can't keep up. We're still having uh, wounded people, car crashes, people with chronic diseases. They still need urgent care. So we have to send them to smaller hospitals in Rosarito, Tecate, or smaller hospitals here in Tijuana. Dr. Garcia says the military is now stepping in, providing pictures showing soldiers setting up surge tents for patients and for the equipment slowly trickling in from the Mexican government. We're just beginning, okay, with this terrible problem. Dr. Valenzuela's young niece has even started a fundraising campaign for Tijuana's Hospital General, so far raising about $62,000 to pay for medical supplies, including tubes and ventilators for the most vulnerable patients. And it's critical for us, it's critical for everybody. And back here at the border, it's still unclear when travel restrictions will be lifted. But for Mexico's part, the U.S. State Department says the country still has no mandatory quarantine policies in place for suspected or confirmed coronavirus cases.